All right, welcome to another video from the chart reader. So today we are gonna look at the weed sector and I will be honest, there is so much positivity across this video. So this could be an exciting place to actually start a position if you have not yet already. So we will go through a number of stocks. There's actually two new ones that were added. One was by request. One was mentioned that connects with another one that we added from one of the uh, one of my comments. So um, yeah, I thought I'd throw it in as well. So there's definitely a bunch now on this. But nonetheless, what are we gonna do? Same thing we always do, right? We're gonna look at the daily and the weekly to see what's setting up. We have our five moving averages. We have these horizontal support and resistance lines that I do manually draw. And then when we're done up here, we use the MACD and the RSI, <clears throat> excuse me, as our lower indicators for confirmation. Again, 80% of the work is up here. This is the last 20. There will be a lot of positivity and I hope you see it, right? I hope you've seen enough of these videos that you already know what I'm gonna say, right? So just very quickly, beautiful riding of the eight. It could be a little prettier. I will say there's a little bit more bouncy than ideal, but I mean, this is pretty much going up with the eight, hits the 200 and fails. Doesn't exactly hit it, but there's a good two line cluster right here, goes a little horizontal and then look, Yesterday, we broke two lines, okay? We broke the eight and the 20. I always say you want confirmation. If you do a two-line break or, hey, even a three-line break, I need really good confirmation. This is really good confirmation, okay? We definitely opened under the 20, which is not a good thing, but we smashed the day, okay? Definitely a 7% day. Almost the entire day was bought right there was just a little bit of a peak and it, it kind of taps out at the 7 417 line which is pretty much the top of this line right but or top of this candle but man we go up we go down looks like we recover if we can get over this look the other thing that i like is this nice little distance between the lines right so even if tomorrow all it does is get over this line or hey even if it comes down to let's call it yeah 410 even hey we can even actually come down to here call it the top of this guy, even if it comes down to like 407. I'm okay with that, because we already got our confirmation, and hey, it still gives us an uptrend and a better chance at the 200. And look, I'm zooming out a lot, you know, I don't like to zoom out, I'm zooming out so much. This right here was the last time we were really over the 200, back in July of last year, right? So the fact that, you know, we tested the 100, tested the 100, broke the 100, we're now coming into this 200 place, and I've said it so many times. If you can be above all the moving averages and just trade up here, oh my goodness, it's such an easier trade than battling under or in between them, you know what I mean? So we do have a lot of lines. I've been doing this in a lot of my videos lately. I'm gonna go ahead and just delete all my lines. Drawings, delete, we're at 16 lines, okay, so, and then I'm gonna just kinda redraw them, okay? Again, I love my lines, you know that, on a couple of videos you've seen me get sad when I remove some of them, but it's a good thing, it keeps you a little more fresh, right? You do lose some past history, but again, if you really want some deep history, just go to the monthly or the quarterly, right? And you can very well get some good deep charts or deep lines for support or resistance, but where are we? Let's make a couple lines, so I'm gonna use the top of this guy, Sorry, that was not a good draw. I'm gonna use the top of that dude. Um, hits that guy right there, almost lines up there. I do like that. I will take, do I wanna take that one right there? Cause again, at that point, maybe I would even take that one right there and those two are so close. I will at least put one up here and I'm gonna put one up here. I think those are gonna be the, the two lines. I almost went with, that right there at, at just about six, and then maybe that right there, 550. I'll be honest, those are actually prettier numbers, but I'm gonna hold this on the weekly with my lines. And then just on the daily, what do I want to line up? So I for sure want to line here. I want to get over this day. We're close to it. And again, you can see we pretty much wicked on that right there. Um, Actually, do I want to raise it just a little bit to this guy right here? Okay, that's pretty much the 200. I don't even need to do that. 200 lines up with this. This guy right here lines up with where we're at. I'm okay with that. And then look, this is where we start kind of going up, right? There's a little bit of a horizontal right here, probably till the 714. But really, 
once we can break the 714, we're starting to just eat up a lot of that downtrend. And I mean, that's some good trading, especially with no moving averages there. Um, yeah, I probably could put a line right here. Probably could. Because again, it hits the top of this. Looks like it hits the top of that right there as well. Um, nonetheless, I think I'm just going to keep it like this. I'm okay with this. But look, overall, I am bullish. If this thing gets over the 200, that's going to be beautiful. I love that the MACD is positive and definitely curving up. That's a great RSI. I mean, look, there have been better ones where the line looks better. But I'm seeing a separation, which is always a good thing. It's still super low. Man, this thing can run. And again, when you'll see the rest of the charts, the rest of the charts look good. And hey, this is a great weekly. We go up, we definitely have less than an ideal drop, but boom, we bounce on the eight. That's really good because look, the weekly has been struggling with the eight, right? Not only did we retake the eight, we actually used it as a support line. And again, that's why we love the eight. These are stagnant horizontal lines. If the eight can go up and we can ride and bounce the eight and use it as support, that's awesome. What this becomes is a moving resistance, right? Between this and this, it just keeps getting harder and harder and harder and harder. We lose these, we go down, we lose these, right? So it, it's a matter of stagnant lines versus moving lines, right? So this is a good weekly, it really is. And it really confirms that this eight is now I mean, for lack of words, owned. It owns the eight, hopefully, right? And we're gonna bounce off of it, we're gonna use it, and man, this weekly screams it more. If we can get over this, there's a nice little climb, then again, a little stutter right there, and then a nice little climb. So um, a lot of good trading between the red line and the 100 right there, which really ultimately is from this line right here to all this nothingness and whatever couple um, important ones come up, so. Um, Tilray, looking great. ACB. So I definitely spent a little more time than I wanted to on Tilray. I should not be doing seven minutes each, so I'll be going a little quicker. Okay, where are we? Look, one, two, three, four lines, okay? We're starting to get into a real tight cluster, right? It wanted to break out. It failed. It bounced on the 50. It never lost it, and it kind of looks like it wants to go up, right? Tilly does look a little better for two reasons. One, obviously, it was over the 20 with confirmation. Two, it's not quite a cluster, right? So, hey, even if you break this, you still got to break this, right? So, I need confirmation of the eight. I'm really glad we at least got confirmation of this 50 right here. But I think I will say I'm going to be bullish on this. Two reasons. One, let me draw this real quick. We've had a nice little uptrend going. We've actually got, so let me do this. First, it's from here to here. Then we're now going from here to here. That's getting progressively steeper. I like that. I like when we're uptrending first here, then here, then hey, again, the dream would be that, right? So it needs to get a little steeper before it starts getting really steep, right? Um, from there, like I said, there's a lot of good on the rest of the ticker, so I'm hoping ACB will follow because we've seen it a couple times. ACB lags a lot compared to the other ones, so I'm hoping it's just a lag. Um, I don't think I'm going to delete any lines because it's not as like packed, I would say, so I'm okay at keeping these lines. Where are we on the weekly? Look, it's not as prominent as it was on Tilray. Again, I'm making some assumptions hoping the rest of this week holds and then next week confirms. But we've been struggling with the eight to say the least. We break it, we hopefully bounce off of it, okay? Because we went up, didn't get the two, the 20 confirmation, actually fell again, but never lost the eight. Hopefully we go up and over the next two weeks, break the 20 and get confirmation, right? That would be the goal, but might be forming what Tilly is doing. So that's a good thing. OGI, so I actually, this is a new one. I brought it to the front of the list because this is, I think, a pretty big one. Um, I'll be honest, I didn't look at the volume, but when I saw this chart, I, I really wanted to bring it to the front. So again, this is a pretty textbook chart that we talk about, right? Um, look, I'm gonna just zoom out real quick. Let's just do this real quickly. Oh my gosh, same thing. We have a resistance going down. It just can never get over the 100. Not a good thing, right? From there, it's obviously struggling with the other lines as well. After going down for so long, it starts to go horizontal a bit, 
we then fall into one, two, three, four out of the five moving averages, we start going horizontal. The cool thing with this one though, is the eight actually keeps an uptrend that whole time. So it, it doesn't really get stuck super horizontally. And then, I mean, look, wants to break it, doesn't really, wants to break it, doesn't really, wants to break it, doesn't really, and then monstrous two days, okay? Monster two days. Again, like I said, if this drops, let's even say to heat, that might be a little lower than ideal, 106, I don't want it to go that low because that's about 50% candle, but again, hey, if we can go 107, 108, even let's call it that, and then make another way up, I'd be happy with that, but at this point, we are over all four, and that is such a good candle. Literally, we started down here, and the entire day, people could not stop buying this thing. They were hungry till the very last, there's not even a, a, a fraction of a wick. Let's even go to it. Look at that, the high was 110, the close was 110, right? The low was 102, the open was 102. It literally kept making money the entire day. That's nice. And I like it after it's broken. It not like this is the one that broke it, right? We already got over those two. This is monstrous. I'll tell you, this looks great. This actually might even look a little better than Tilly. Um, let's make some uh, some lines on the weekly real quick. We're definitely gonna take the top of that guy because that's gonna start the downtrend. We'll take the top of that guy because that looks like it hits a few. And honestly, that's it because then we have this and this. I'm good with just those right there. Um, let's take a look at the daily. Do we need any more? Look at that. That's pretty much hitting the daily. I don't even need to drop because I think I see it. But yeah, we definitely broke that right there, which is awesome, right? And it was the same line as that one, which is even better. I love it. Cool. Um, yeah, this, this honestly, I think so far, this is the best of the three. And then again, we did I talk about the weekly. Yeah, I made some charts. But look, where are we? Kind of the same thing, right? Break it. Can't break the 20, but bounce on the eight, use it as support versus this year and a half long resistance, right? Almost two years, let's be honest, from pretty much, yeah, April again, like I said, but I mean, almost January to January is pretty much what we're looking at, right? So it's it's an amazing thing when that eight moves from a, from a resistance to a support. MSOS, look at this thing. This thing has been on such a nice trend. Look at that thing, boom, right? I love it. Just really moving well with the eight, never really getting too stuck on the cluster. And then look, it breaks the 100, bounces off the 100. You know, it's, 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 a, it's a beautiful thing. It's really using these moving average as well. And it doesn't seem like it's over yet. Look, green wants to pop out, green is in the positive. Green wants to pop out, we're still in the low 60s. I would say this RSI line is just a little more clustered than ideal, but I'm also kind of seeing it, it uptrend as well, right? So um, MSOS, I've actually liked this one for a little bit and it's, it is doing well and that's a great weekly, right? Look at this, break the eight, break the 20. This is not good confirmation, but I will say after the doji, you generally get the real confirmation. We got it here and we got follow through again, right? So. Gotta love it when the moving averages do what they do. And again, if we can get over this line, there's a pretty good downtrend that we start to get to, right? And it seems really realistic that we'll get to this 15 right here, right? At least this like 1450 will, will round. But MSOS looking bullish and look, we've reviewed four and there really hasn't been very much negativity, right? We do these sector reviews because we want them to all do the same thing. So Hexo, I'll be honest, there was a good sector recovery right on time for Hexo. We lose this 17 cent support, right? There was a hard doji right on the line, then we lose it, we lose it, we lose it, but the last two days have really saved this thing just like we saw with the rest, right? Obviously, there were better charts and I've, you know, I've been a little negative on this guy, right? I just, I have. There were a couple moments of up, which is good, but it never really broke this this blue line, right? A lot of them are starting to break the 100. This one still just hasn't. However, I'm happy we're over the 17. 
I do like this. Obviously, the, the wick down here isn't great, but look, both times, it wanted to crash, then save. It wanted to crash, then save, and go up, actually, even, right? So those are good. I like this. It kind of looks like this wants to come back up. It's almost at the zero. I know the marker is saying it's zero because it's probably 0. 0.0000 something, right? Whatever that number might be. But um, overall, a lot of positivity. However, I really wouldn't touch this until we get over 18 because over 18 would get us over this cluster. And hey, from there, hopefully we fly to 19. From there, hopefully we fly basically to 21 even actually. Um, so yeah, you can see 19 to 21 is a pretty safe trade because 19 gets you over this guy. And then from there, hopefully you're either riding up the green till here, till there's 21, or you might even completely fill that, that giant red one, right? So um, Hexo, really, really good and convenient time for this sector to start turning around. Not a good weekly, right? The, a few of the rest of these have had better weeklies, but again, hopefully this is turning around and maybe in the next two weeks we'll get some recovery. But look, it's not gonna take much. That's 19, 20 cent range we've been talking about. That'll break the 20 and there's so much room between the, the 20 and the 50. What is that, 35, 36 cents even, right? So you're almost doubling even if you wait and give up some, some profit, right? So again, you know I, I do like to stress safer trading often, so. Okay, CGC, loving this chart right here. I am, right? Did we break the 20 yesterday? We did not. So the 20 was at 63 and we closed at 62. So we break the eight, we now get confirmation of the eight and we now break the 20. I definitely need one more day confirmation to make sure we're over the 20. I don't know why the RSI is doing this. That's, that's, a, little, that's a little odd, I'll go ahead and say that. The one cool thing is look, one, two, three, four, we're in not a very tight, but we're, we're in a, a cluster of all the moving averages and we're at least sitting at midway or better, right? So in my head, we're at least working our way to the 200. I'm happy with that. Hopefully, seriously, we cannot lose these two because that would be bad, right? I always say 80% of the work is up here, 20% is down here, so I'm gonna go ahead and ignore this give this positivity but again i need to close up here all right i want good confirmation that we're actually over the 20 tomorrow that's going to be big for me what number is this if we can get to 406 or 407 406 or better i that's good confirmation and this is still low enough to where we'll hopefully knock on wood still have a chance to keep the momentum going and break the 200 and again let's zoom out right you am sure you could guess it back to this you know middle right april right here is pretty much just like the rest of them they all lost it may april right so um yeah again still sitting like the rest but again i would still say this is actually pretty bullish like the rest probably a couple other tickers a little better but again this is a good weekly right we literally do that same bounce and this one actually doesn't almost for lack of words doesn't need the eight right definitely tested so i shouldn't say that there was definitely a test during it but um, yeah, we break both lines. We get confirmation, a beautiful follow-up week. It's starting to look scary. No, it's not. We're bouncing off the eight because this is now support, no longer resistance, right? You got to love that. We're halfway through. And again, not too much negativity. I would only say about two of them um, were negative. Hey, I'll be honest. I set an alert on this line. I don't know if you remember that from a few videos ago, but my alert did go off for Sandal. I am liking this sandal setup right here, right? So you gotta know that, that again, this is why we like alerts, right? An alert doesn't necessarily mean, hey, now it's the time to buy. Maybe it's just more of a, oh man, do you remember this from a couple weeks ago? Oh wow, I do, let me take a look at it, right? So my alert did go off today on sandal, which we placed maybe on this video, if not for sure by this video, right? So. Um, and again, this is why I love the lines, right? Once we break them, you get a good, um, a good little follow through, right? And one more time, let's talk about it. Look how we've just been going down and down with the, with the hundred, right? Super horizontal with it. Again, it's going down. We're following it. This day right here, we break two and we get a good confirmation that sits with breaking two lines, right? That's what I talk about when I say good confirmation. Sandal. Woo! Sandal, if you can get some good volume, if you can get the meme army to come, you still have a real low RSI. You've got green over red on both. It's positive. I'm liking this, right? So 
Um, yeah, I'm liking this. I am. Weekly, what are we looking at? We're looking at a really good weekly, actually. And this one actually bounces off the eight. So I love it. And this, in my head, is a good candle. I've talked about it a couple times, right? There's more than just good and bad. There's good good and bad good. There's good bad and bad bad. So again, there are actually four days, not two kinds of days. So um, I've mentioned that a bunch. But one more time, the alert went off today. <laughs> I don't know if you set one with my video or not, but I'll tell you, mine went off today. Quran, ooh, I'll be honest, I did not look at this one before here. This I like, okay? I do like this so much. Obviously, tomorrow will matter because that'll give us confirmation that we are over the, the 200. But look, all moving averages right here, moments of getting scared, but no, it kind of looks like it wants to go up. And I mean, I'm telling you, you want to be trading out of above, not out, but yeah, out of and above all the moving averages. It's a beautiful place to be, you know what I mean? So um, one attempt, two attempts, three attempts, four attempts, fifth one generally is that magic number. Um, you know, just keep that in your back pocket. But again, Kron might actually look like the best one so far because it's seeming like it's broken from the, um, from the cluster. And look, this two line break, this is such good confirmation, right? If the 200 was a lot further up, oh my gosh, I would be ringing the bell on Kron. I definitely still need confirmation tomorrow. But when you break two lines and then the next day you gap up, woo, that is strength right there. Nothing, nothing screams strength more than a gap up. Obviously the opposite is bad, right? Nothing screams it's getting bad like a gap down, right? So um, one more day for that 200, but this is cleanly over them if it happens. And look, beautiful, beautiful down there, right? So did I talk about the weekly? Yeah, did I? I don't know. I'll be honest, I really don't know, but I do for sure didn't. This is actually the only one, is this the only one that's, where's Tilly? Is Tilly over the 50? It's, oh. Kron is closer than Tilly to the 50 on the weekly. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. Yo, this this might be the best one so far, for sure. Again, I want confirmation tomorrow, but look at that. When you have good weeklies, it's an amazing thing. We have now done a golden cross where the lower goes above it. Man, if this thing can go above the 50 as well, that'll be even stronger. Kron is our strongest so far. We have about four left. And one more time, this whole video has been positive, which is what I like. You want the sector to review to be good. And let's be honest, today wasn't as monster a day as yesterday. So the fact that these did well, I mean, a lot of these were almost 10%, right? That That's a little bit better for me in all honesty. It didn't need the market to carry it. It just kind of carried itself. I don't know what else to say, right? Um, look, again, I don't need to say too much here. We are actually over the eight, which is, again, a nice thing, right? One day, two day, three day, four day, we're five days over the eight. For me, these two lines will matter. I'm like 95% I have one, but if I don't, I need to just double check that I do. Um, then you cross this line, yeah, beautiful. Good, good, good. Again, once we cross it, that's, that's I mean, as sexy a gap fill as they get, they really are, because now this is starting to line up um, yeah, I mean, that's, and then where's the next one? Yeah, that's such a good week. One to hopefully knock on wood, we see it. But again, this is a good start. Five days over, these are all dojis, right? So we're just waiting for that confirmation day. Ugly RSI, I will say that. And this is actually a really ugly RSI. So definitely a little worried with this because this one doesn't have the monster volumes that the other ones have, right? But again, if the line crosses, you make your money, you bank that profit, and you smile at the end of the bell, right? So. Um, this one I think was added last week, um, Grow Generation Corp. Love it. Look at that. This one actually might be doing better than Kron because this has broken the 200, used the 200 as a bounce point as well. Golden Cross right there with the 20 cracking the 200. Ooh, I love it. It looks like the 50 is about to crack the 100. Oh, man. This is a real nice chart. 
And look where we're at right now. We're sitting right here, which is in this little horizontal, right? If we can break this line, I mean, look, this, man, is this nicer than Cron? Let me just look at one thing. This is at 71. Yeah, they're close enough. I think I like um, GRWG. You can tell how little I know this one. Wow, I actually did not know this one. Nice. Um, love it. And look, I, I, we've said it a number of times. The 200 is a beautiful bounce point. It's a very devastating loss, but it's such a good bounce point if you can get it. And this is why I always say when you're above all of them, things start to get better. And look, once it crossed the top of that, it, again, obviously I didn't have a line there, but when you peak then drop, then get over the peak. Oh, that over the peak is so nice. It, it really is. And that's obviously what drives a lot of these um, horizontal lines, right? So um, the last one is the new one again. Nope. And Hydro Farm Holding Group, okay? So I don't know what the volume looks like. I was told that this one moves a lot like GRWG. I'm keeping an eye on that if it's true, because again, GRWG grow, man, I gotta learn these names a little, GRWG. The last one we just looked at is monstrous, right? So if there's actually a belief that these two follow each other, hey, you better believe I'm gonna be looking at that, right? So where are we? Look, we broke two lines today, right? Yesterday we, no, actually, yeah, yesterday we broke the 50. We got a good confirmation of that, but today we also broke the, 10, wow, the eight and the 20. So tomorrow's confirmation should also get us over the 100, but then again, after that, I need confirmation of that, right? The one big thing I'd say is, hey, if we can get over this, if we get over, <clears throat> excuse me, 308, I'd be pretty happy. Okay, again, you know I need two days for confirmation, but yeah, if you can get over this peak right here, we're probably gonna start scaling this peak right here next, right? So you can already kind of see the lines that I'm drawing here. Um, Cause again, this one's new and we don't have it. Good. Again, make sure you look at the volume here. In general, I like volume to be around like 100K, give or take. There, obviously more volume is better. There have been times when I've traded like a 75,000 volume. Once you get lower than 75, it gets a little choppy. So that is the full list. Do not hesitate to ask to add any tickers. I really hope you're learning. Hey, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Otherwise, man, I appreciate your time more than you can expect. So I hope you're learning.